Hello guys, Bionic Lombax here. I'm doing this video in order to show you how to enable and use the basic feature of the word editor in Allspace. I'm doing this video because most of YouTube doesn't care about this feature, so I, I'm not seeing a lot of videos about it, and not and even if they are, they are not that recent, so maybe a lot of stuff has changed. Okay, but enough with the explanation, let's go, let's go right into it. Uh, right now I'm in my home, this is very useful to know, uh, once you up, uh, enable the word editor feature, you're gonna be able to edit just your home and every word that you made. The, all the other words in Allspace won't be able to, uh, to be edited by you unless the creator specifically made you a terraformer in that word, which is a role that can be either gave it to you or not. So don't think that you can just go in campfire after this tutorial and just starting showing off your creator ability in front of everyone. You, you either have to be in your house or in a world made by you. That's why I'm in my house right now, but I can also go to another world to show you better later. For now, first of all, in order to be an editor, you have to, uh, you have, to have this button enabled. If you do not have it, it's because you have to go to your menu by clicking on it, on this button. Then you go in settings, general, and from there you just enable the enable words beta and also the participate in early access program. Once both of them are activated, you should be able to see this button. After you, uh, you have this button, you can see these options appear. First of all, the environment clipping makes you able to clip through walls. The flying, of, it's pretty self-explanatory, once you toggle this on, you can fly around. Toggle environment, just deactivate the template that you put in your world. So for example, in this case, everything other than the things I added, like the photos and geometry, will disappear. Then the editor mode and the editor panel, uh, we're gonna see them later. Let's first go to a world that um, lets us able to do a lot of stuff without destroying my own house. Uh, you can go to this world as well. It's called uh, Chaos VR Playground and it's a world made by me specifically to test around this word editor ability. Uh, once you have unlocked word editor, you go to your menu, the words beta option is gonna appear and once you click on it, you can like search for featured words, popular words, favorite words and then uh, in this case I'm going to my words and then click on the word. Let's go! Here you can edit a word freely as we were saying. So as you can see this is a pretty crazy word just made in order to put stuff into it and edit it freely. So just imagine you are in this situation. You are in the middle of nowhere and you want to put something. You click on the word editor. Oh, by the way, the VR, uh, when you, uh, if you are in VR, things are gonna be like a hundred times easier, but the user interface is gonna be the same. So everything I'm doing in this video, you can do it in VR just as well. So you enable edit mode so that you can move around stuff and uh, resize it, delete it, etc. Then you click on the editor panel and this panel is gonna appear. In VR you can also reposition it, the word, whatever you want. Okay, let's start from the description of what's this panel all about. This part over here shows you everything that is in, in this word. When, when you click on something, is gonna be underlined and the corresponding object is gonna be underlined as well in a blue box. For example, the drone corresponds to this part of the list. Once you click on it and it's underlined, you can either delete it, lock it in place so you can't like move it by mistake, and then you can also change its features, which in this case means changing its position, rotation, scale, make it collidable so that you can you cannot move past it then then again other objects for example 
you can just delete it like this okay that's pretty much it for this part of the editor panel lock all and unlock all is pretty much self-explanatory you can either lock everything in place or unlock everything the position axis lock is useful when you want to move stuff around for example if you want to move it just around this local axis you can choose these three options or if you want to move it around the general world axis you can click one of these three then this is the last and most important part of the whole process in this area you can choose which objects to spawn in the world everything is here let's start from the basics you click on alt space and then these five options are gonna be here basic lets you choose between uh, these four label when you click on a label it creates a label a text a layer of text that uh, is gonna be in midair and you will be able to resize it uh, reposition it freely so for example Guga Guga of course Guga Guga is the perfect phrase the perfect sentence to start everything okay once I once I, I put I put enter on it I can just I can see that the test is in midair yeah that's pretty much it that's, that's just one thing you can resize it you can uh, of course from the PC it's difficult to do it but you can move it around oh, you have to be in editor which you which I am you can move it around resize it and if you are in VR you can also rotate it just rotating your controller but you, we don't care about it for now then let's go quicker around all of all the others if you click on a teleporter you can spawn teleportation areas to other worlds your worlds or worlds worlds you were already if you click on the spawn point you can check you can choose where the users in your world can spawn you so that you can for example make them spawn in front of the house inside the house and every place you want you can also spawn them in the middle of nowhere so that they can die but of course i don't recommend it the SDK option is better if I uh, take it for another video, another quick video. Okay, this is just the basics. Then let's go to Skyboxes because backups is not useful for now. If you go to Skyboxes you can freely change the sky. You can choose every one of these. If you prefer one over the other it's just a matter of taste. For example I prefer this one. I mean look at it. wonderful you can also make your own skyboxes but for now this is just the basics and this is just the main all space ones then this is the orange juice of this tutorial because everyone wants to spawn objects not just sky and text all of these are perfectly spawnable objects you just click on it and that's it that's uh, that's pretty much it once you click on it it's gonna appear in the world in front of you and from there you can just move it around and resize it like the text I showed you before there are tons of kits either from Outspace or from the users if you want a kit that is not in Outspace but a user have done it the user can feature it and then it's gonna appear here or you can make your own and it's gonna appear in this kit in the kit in mine kit then the last and uh, most important feature is the SDK an SDK is practically uh, what every, anything else that is not an object it's a uh, object with many abilities for example the hello world is a cube that also moves around but you can make a multimedia player some users made a solar system all of these are like ga little games inside of Altspace. You can go to the Altspace uh, homepage and learn how to code uh, all of this. But for now, the basics is more than enough. Then, uh, let's see. The last and only part I'm, I'm gonna show you probably in this video is that you can spawn photos. 
The photos in this area are the ones you took inside of Altspace, either as a selfie or from your camera. If you want to put other photos, you can do it freely because you just have to go to the Altspace page from a browser, log in with your own details and after that you go into the photos area and then there's gonna be an option to load photos from the computer and after that any photo you want can be just loaded in and it's gonna appear here once you have done any of it you can click on a photo and then everything I said about the text is gonna be possible for this photo you will be able to move it around rotate if you are in VR if you're from PC you just will be able to move it around resize it as you please and yeah of course if you want to rotate you can you cannot actually do it from the PC but uh, there is an option to do it uh, unlock the rotation lock so that you, able, you are able to move it in front of you and then if you want to rotate you just rotate around the photo and re-click on it and the photo is gonna be always in front of you that's also why it's a pain to use the PC instead of the VR because the VR also makes you able to rotate it on the spot and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Everything uh, can be, uh, if you have any questions, just write it in the comments. And in next videos, if you enjoyed this one, I'm gonna say I'm gonna talk about uh, all the rest because this was just the basics of word editing inside of Allspace without relying on Unity uh, and uh, on anything outside of Allspace. And it's also why I'm doing this video, because I want more people to know about this, since it's really, really, really easy to do this. Bye-bye!